So here at Loma Linda University Health, we have been focused on cancer for a long time. Recently, we've been investing heavily in the development of new therapies that completely change how you can be treated for cancer. I'm excited to share the stories of three patients who have had these new targeted therapies. It's really exciting. It's completely changed the field. I've been a cyclist all my adult life. A year ago last summer, I was doing a major bike ride with my son. As we went along the beautiful highway, I noticed that this mole on my right knee looked like it was growing to me. I thought, strange. And so when I got home, I went to the dermatologist and it was melanoma, and it was stage three. The next thing they did was to remove what they call a sentinel node to see if the cancer had gotten into the lymphatic system, and indeed it had. My sister died of a melanoma at the age of 48, and it traveled fast. So they did a series of scans and found an inflated lymph node in my left lung. And it was a five alarm fire. Uh, it, it's in my body. 10, 15 years ago, this was a type of melanoma that would be completely uncurable. And so I talked to Dr. Hayden up at the Beaumont facility, and he said, well, we can do immunotherapy. So immunotherapy is a treatment that actually turns your body's own immune system on against the cancer. And so it's not a drug that is toxic at all. It's really one that just turns your immune system on, teaching it how to attack the cancer. So I'm six months into a year-long protocol, and I'm living life. I play tennis three days a week. I walk every morning three to four miles. Cancer is a terribly sobering event in the life of a family. But I wake up each morning grateful to be alive. In many ways, why God put us here is to work with each other to better the condition of those around us as best we're able. I was outside and helping my dad take the lights down after Christmas. And when I was moving the ladder, I kind of like collapsed afterwards. Dad, I don't feel good. And he was like really pale, unresponsive, and it was freaking, I was freaking out. They said that he had leukemia. I got worried, I got scared. Uh, my brother had a best friend that died from it. So I thought I was gonna lose him at first. When Paul started chemotherapy, um, he was doing good for a while. And then he started getting sick. It was me being allergic to one of the ingredients inside of the chemo pill. They had to stop giving it to him so he didn't get to finish the first phase of it. I was like getting worried again. I'm like, okay, well, if he's allergic to it, what's next, you know? The leukemia that he had, they said it was a very aggressive one. They were starting to look into other stuff. And they brought up the CAR T. He took it, had no problems at all. I guess he was like the second person in the Inland Empire to take it. He didn't get sick or nothing and did really well with it. We didn't have to go through radiation. We didn't have to do all that crazy stuff. So that saved him a lot of pain. They said that I'm 100% cancer free. So that got me real excited and happy. But yeah, I'm doing real good now. If we didn't have the technology and the research that we have, I can honestly say my son probably wouldn't be here today. CAR-T therapy is a treatment in which we take a patient's own cells and we put a new receptor in it that will actually make that cell hone to the cancer and specifically attack it. So it's really using a patient's own cells and just making it more able to seek out and destroy the cancer. There's a car in the house. It's for you. It's for you. Congratulations, Paul. I was born in LA, grew up in Orange County, Newport Beach, and life was good. When I'm about 70 years old, I started feeling different. So I went to the doctor for some blood work and she goes, whoa, I've never seen a PSA this high before. It's off the charts. I had seen the scan. I mean, I lit up like a Christmas tree and hundreds, literally hundreds of these things. I was being eaten alive. He says, you have stage four prostate cancer with metastasized bone cancer. And I go, okay, now what are we gonna do? Prostate cancer is really spread over his body. He's exhausted all of the typical types of treatments. I get a phone call from Loma Linda University. 
He says, you sound like a perfect candidate for a new treatment, and they're having surprising success with it. Theranostics is a treatment where we take advantage of a specific mutation on this prostate cancer and then use that to deliver short distance radiotherapy that will destroy the cells that have cancer in them but not the surrounding cells and so that's why they don't have much in the way of side effects. Four days, four, after the treatment, there was no pain. I mean, I could, I could feel it diminishing. 45 days later, I get another scan. They're gone. They're off the screen. They are not there. So I owe everything I have to this hospital and Dr. Frankis. It's been a life changer, truly. Everybody's got a story and everybody's got a struggle. This is what it's all about, helping one another. I'm really proud of the advances that we have made here in cancer research and treatment at Loma Linda University Health. And I'm really optimistic about the future for where this is taking us. And I'm convinced that with all of these targeted approaches, Loma Linda is really going to be the destination for where patients can be treated for cancer in the future. If you'd like to be a part of this new exciting vision for what we're doing, we would certainly love to have you join us.